Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to bring you a brand new episode of Crypto Clout. So how much hope do you have in Bitcoin? How much hope do you actually have with Bitcoin falling 11%? Where do you see Bitcoin six months from now? Does anybody watching this video actually think that a $9,000, a $3,000, $20,000 Bitcoin is still a possibility? I'd like to know. So before we even get started, before I talk to you about my perspective, of course, long term, I am bullish over a long enough time period with no real significant interference from regulation, which I don't see as a possibility. I see Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency space going to the moon, boys, but still, let's not kid ourselves. Going all in is the quickest way to lose it all. Taking it all out at one time is the quickest way to lose it all as well. Now, of course, I have to say this. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not your financial advisor. I'm not your dad. You're going to have to make your own decision. But when you see headlines like these, Bitcoin falls 11% after a report suggests a critical flaw. A flaw in cryptocurrency called uh, double speed may have occurred. And they got this guy looking all confused right there. That's hilarious. Uh, 11% dude I lost you I don't know it's hilarious to see uh, that sort of headline but I'm not going to completely discount I mean there is a bit of wisdom in that of course if you're in cryptocurrency to build your wealth you're going to want to pay attention to the ups and downs unless you're a hodler and there's no shame in being a hodler people there's no shame in hodling your bitcoin there's absolutely nothing wrong with a particular individual a hypothetical person who decides to buy ten dollars at this price there's absolutely nothing wrong in my opinion if i were to do this or if you know in a, hypo a hypothetical situation if i were to choose to buy ten dollars worth of bitcoin convert usd into btc yes please I don't see a problem with that. Same, all right. Of course, I know you love Digibyte. If you clicked on this video, and we're going to tie into Digibyte, but we we do need to talk about Bitcoin in order to then talk about Digibyte. It's just the way of the world. Um, now, we have to talk about a lot of these different aspects of the cryptocurrency space, and one thing in particular I want to talk about is uh, one point. What is it? 1.9 billion. What is that number? What comes up when I search 1.9 billion USD? What do you think we're going to see when we look at the news? Is it 1.9 billion? Uh, well, all right. Uh, how about how about we search this? Uh, how much money is yeah one oh trillion <laughs> see that's a, oh my god i typed in billion and the re news results didn't even give me a third check all right don't want it but i'm gonna cash it of course 1.9 trillion for four hundred dollars unemployment money already that's not as good as the 600 a little bit less a little bit less than the and then the last uh, instance with uh, this whole, but still, th that's bank. 400 bucks, $1,400 thing here, you know, another 2000 there probably. So still, the fact of the matter is, uh, in, so you want to look at the USD trade, you know, the USD as a, uh, just just let's just usd right university of south dakota no i meant usd uh i don't have time to pull it up right i mean well, I just, well popular uh currency profile regardless you know what i'm gonna say i could even do it just on um on any on a excel spreadsheet the, the point of the matter is that if you want to understand it it's that today uh, Bitcoin, I mean, well, crypto, I mean, USD, USD is one, one dollar, right? Is that, is that what it is, right? So one 
USD is dollar. Um, I need to find a good website that I, I should have already pulled this up, honestly, but you understand the point. One Bitcoin is always going to be worth one Bitcoin. So there is no shame in spending $10 on a $30,000 Bitcoin today and never looking back. Trading is another story. No, no shame in taking, you know, if you need the money, it's not, that's the whole other story as well. But these news headlines are so fickle, such absolute terrible uh, clickbait. But the point of the matter is that if you have, if you have one Bitcoin today, somebody else is going to have to buy 1.1 Bitcoin tomorrow. And then somebody after that is going to have to buy 0.01 Bitcoin. And that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Uh, that's just the fact of the matter is that there's an unlimited amount of USD. If I search how much, how much USD can exist. How, um, if you want to count actual notes and coins, there are about 1.2 trillion floating around the globe. And they're about to print 1.9 trillion more, I mind you, even though the Fed can't say precisely uh, where all the U.S. dollars are in the world. It does try to keep track of how much exists. Ooh, I'm pretty sure that they're going to want to do that. Uh, and I think the technology of blockchain does offer that. Um, but I digress. I have to bring up the concept of the current value of Digibyte and why $1 is totally reasonable. It is completely reasonable to imagine a one dollar digibyte. Would that exact if the if the USD if they can print unlimited amount of USD and this is the third time that they're printing this insane amount of money, you all know it. Like a high, very high percentage of the ever 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 printed money of USD is being printed this year. Not 2020, 2021, it's happening again. It's going to be commonplace. It's going to, it's going to, it's going to go on forever. It'll never end. It's mayhem. It's an absolute debacle. So you moon boys, don't sit there and tell me that, a, or even you um, digibyte detractors, come on. Especially when you consider the use case, the, all the potential that's in store for digibyte, a faster digital currency, more innovative, more decentralized, better than Bitcoin better than bitcoin also why is uh cancel twitter f f uh hashtag uh trending anyway uh this is kind of a cool um stock to flow model uh, 31.5k bitcoin feels low compared to 40k but uh did you uh really expect bitcoin price to run um s2f model already uh, S to F uh, model is uh, right on track like clockwork. Uh, I mean, old resistance becomes new support. Um, what was the resistance before? I mean, the, the ceiling used to be 20 grand. I can imagine Bitcoin going down to 20 grand again. I think it'll go down a lot more. Stock market's doing all right today too, in comparison. But massive gains, massive volatility, high rises, often followed by peaks and valleys. It's anybody's game, but you have to, you have to remain calm. I mean, it's not going to, it's, it's a, it's a wild ride. I, I feel like everybody uh, feels drained. It seems like the, the, uh, the spirit, there's a lot less spirit um, in my fellow. I feel like a lot of people don't, I don't know, maybe it's just me. Um, but I'm excited. I like this quote right here. I'm excited to be uh, a part of the Digibyte team um, uh, as in a uh, marketing manager from uh, this month onward, uh, uh, a name of uh, great promise to the current crypto scene. Digibyte has already earned uh, rave reviews for its uh, superior speed and most decentralized UTXO blockchain. In fact, uh, it's one of a handful of coins today that actually boasts a real active community, which is so true. And I'm so proud to actually be uh, a member of that community. Uh, other reasons why um, I'm uh, pinning my hopes on Digibyte is it's highly affordable fees. And of course, uh, it's beefy and advanced security features. Isn't that great? I am uh, really honored to join. I like that. Um, and uh, yeah, that's Sydney right there. Uh, very interesting. Digibyte is uh, completely decentralized. These, this, is, this is going to be very, very significant um, by, with keeping um, 
those who would uh, wish to go against Digibyte. Um, and also, this is an interesting video because this is the first video of the new era, isn't it? I just realized that. Maybe that's got to do with why why looking at USD feels so different. It's almost like we'll never ever get to. Uh, it's like we'll never get to escape the um, what happened uh, in March with with the printing and the in the and uh, it's just the new. Uh, it's just really the new paradigm. Crazy. But that's your physical money right there. Just coming on down the pipeline. That's your stimulus bill. That's your mortgage. That's your food. That's everything. That's your Christmas money. All those stacks of bills just going out there to be circulated. And every, uh, every single... Every single thing that you could all possibly imagine, everything you want, everything you could ever dream about. But money doesn't buy happiness. No, no, no. Only Bitcoin can do that. Only crypto can buy happiness. So I hope you guys have enjoyed my um, return uh, to the YouTube scene. And um, more videos to come. I plan on uploading quite regularly. I didn't plan on participating in the um, million dollar prediction landscape i didn't feel like i had anything to contribute but i've and i've also been very very busy but all that being said i will see you guys uh in the next video and we'll see where the world takes us then but all that being said have a good one